source codes are broadly classified as Huffman code and Shanfano code. The concept of Shannon Fano coding can be illustrated with an example. Consider a source produces symbols A, B, C, D with probability 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.125, 0 0.125 respectively. Generate Shannon Fano code and compute the efficiency. The code may be constructed as per the following algorithm. Step 1. Write down the symbols in the order of decreasing probabilities. Step 2. Divide the source symbols into two groups of almost equal probabilities. Assign 0 to all symbols in the first group and assign 1 to all symbols in the second group. Repeat step 2 till the last subgroup have only one symbol and hence the coding is complete. We will do a problem for generating Shannon Fano code. A source produces symbols A, B, C, D with probabilities 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.125, 0 0.125 respectively. Generate Shannon Fano code and compute the coding efficiency. So, by algorithm for generating Shannon Fano code, so first step is write down the messages or symbols in the order of decreasing probabilities. Since it is uh, given the order of decreasing probability. So first of all, we'll write it as A. Since A has uh, probability 0.5, A, B, C, D. So I will write uh, the probability also here. 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.125, 0 0.125. So by step two, Divide the source symbols into two groups of almost equal probability. So you need to take care of this particular word. Of almost equal probabilities, assign a code 0 to all symbols in the first group and assign a code 1 to all symbols in the second group. So we will check how it is. So for that we will draw a line like this so that uh, for dividing the entire code symbols of almost equal probability that is so here we can see that this will this will act as a first group and this will act as a second group so by step number two assign, assign code 0 for all the symbol in first group and assign code 1 for all the symbol in second group now third step is apply step 2 to each of the groups formed and continue the process till the last subgroup have only one symbol and hence coding is complete so we can see so so in this subgroup we have only one symbol so no need of uh, uh, grouping so in this second group we have three symbols so we will divide the second group into subgroup by drawing a line such that probability of symbols above the line is almost equal to the probability of symbols below the line so we will draw a line like this so here the first group, the, this subgroup has probability 0.25. This subgroup will also have probability 0.25. So assign 0 for the, line, for the group above the line and assign 1 for all the symbols for the group below the line. Now again we have this is one subgroup and this is uh, another subgroup. Again we can divide this particular subgroup so that uh, assign 0 here and 1 here. Now this is the code word. So we can see that for A, the code is 0, for B, the code is 1, 0, C, code is 1, 1, 0, and D, it is 1, 1, 1. Now we will find the coding efficiency, and we know that coding efficiency is given by H of S by L bar, where H of S is entropy of the source, and L bar is the average length of the code word. And again, L bar equal to sigma, K equal to 1 to the total number of symbols in the source, that is k equal to 1 to n pk lk where pk is the probability of emitting kth symbol and lk is the length of the kth symbol. So here we can write it as 0 0.5 into average uh, length of the first symbol is only 1 plus 0 0.25 into length of second symbol is 2 0.125 into 3 again 0.125 into so this will be equal to this will be 
bits per symbol. So don't forget to write the symbol also. Similarly, you can find uh, the entropy H of S equal to sigma k equal to 1 to n pk log 1 by pk. So this is equal to 0.5 log 1 by 0.5 plus 0.25 log 1 by 0.25 plus 0.125 log 1 by 0.125 plus 0.125 log 1 by 1.125. So this will be equal to, so this will be again equal to 1.75 bits per symbol. So I will write here. So we have coding efficiency is 1.75 divided by 1.75 which is equal to 1. So which is uh, which implies 100% coding efficiency. So this is the homework problem for you. Consider a source with the seven symbols S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, S6, X7 with probabilities 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.12, 0 0.08, 0 0.08, 0 0.08, 0 0.04 0 respectively. Apply Shannon Fano coding scheme to generate the code and compute the efficiency. The clue for doing this particular problem is after writing the symbols in decreasing order of probability, divide the symbols in two almost equal group such that you can do this problem in two ways. That is, in one method, the first group has two symbols and in second method, the first group has only one symbol. So please compute the efficiency for these two methods and justify or comment on your answer. Thank you.